iOS 17 is now out and in this video I'm going to show you first things to do after installing iOS 17. We'll cover some of the best iOS 17 features that I'm sure you'll love. Let's get started. The first feature I want to cover is interactive widgets. You can now interact with widgets in iOS 17 straight from your home screen. So on this page here, I have a widget of reminders with some eight groceries, and I can interact with it without actually opening up the reminders app. If I swipe down and I go over to the reminders app and I open it up, I can come over here and modify my grocery list. I can add an item, I can check off an item, I can review what's on it. But one neat thing about iOS 17 with the interactive widgets is you do not need to open the app in order to check something off or in order to review your list here. You can see it live right on your home screen. And if you wanna check off the milk, you just tap the milk and it checks it off just like that. We can check off the apples just by pressing it. And I'm interacting with the widget right here live on the home screen and it does not open the app. Previously in iOS 16, if you tapped on a widget, it would automatically open the app and it would not allow you to interact with that widget without uh, opening the app first. But now in iOS 17, as more developers build interactive widgets, you'll be able to tap right on the widget itself, just like I can with this reminders widget, and it will allow you to interact with it without actually opening the app. So I can come over here, I can check, check off the green beans, the corn, the bread right here, all in this reminders widget live without actually opening up the application. So it's really neat that I can interact in iOS 17 live widgets right here on the home screen and more are to come as more developers support this. So you'll be able to check out with your developer to see if they have interactive widgets and you'll be able to use them right on your home screen without actually opening that app. So really neat feature. And I think this is one of the best features in iOS 17 that a lot of people are going to love. The next feature you absolutely have to try when you install iOS 17 first is called Standby. This is what it looks like. Standby allows you to connect your phone to a compatible MagSafe charger like the L Gear 2-in-1 charger here. You can lock your phone, attach your iPhone to the MagSafe charger, and it will enter standby mode. And you'll get all of these new features on your device. So we've got a clock here. We can swipe through different clock faces. We can see where we're located and it looks very nice. It's very beautiful and a great way to interact with your phone, especially if you're not using it. You can dock it at night. You can have a little night light and you can even swipe over and get other features such as different calendars here. We can swipe in. These are all modular so we can change the time. We can come over here, see the news. We can see the date. We've got several different, you know, clocks and modular components on the left and then same on the right we can have our reminders here we can even interact with these reminders and check them off just like this and it authorizes through face id we can go over here see our calendar all the days of the events that are going on we can scroll up see our location and the weather so they've made it really beautiful to interact and this is called standby you need a compatible magsafe charger like the two-in-one l gear charger like here you can get one of these using the link in the description below and you can use the coupon code app find to get 15 percent off. You just dock your iPhone onto a compatible MagSafe charger and you lock it and it enters standby mode automatically and then you can swipe around. You can unlock and view photos here. So if we can unlock this using Face ID. All right, I've entered my passcode and now I can see my photos in the standby mode. You can scroll through and change the different album, whether you want to look at, you know, different shots in your photo library. You can just swipe just like this. It has the date where I am and it's a beautiful way to look at your photos and you can swipe over, you can see the world view that we saw earlier and the different times. So they've got various different modes here in standby and they make it really fun to come in here and pick one and personalize it just for your liking. And then you can interact with it every time you connect your iPhone to a compatible MagSafe charger. You just snap it on and then it enters. As soon as the phone is locked, you'll be able to access standby. So very cool way to interact with standby in iOS 17. It's definitely one of the first things you've got to try to do when you get access to iOS 17 because it makes the iPhone experience so much more lovely when you can see little bits of information when you're not using your phone. You can even dive into the settings. If we unlock our iPhone here and head over to the settings app in the iPhone, we just scroll over. You can search for settings or go to the app library or tap on the icon. You can scroll down and then there's a little 
button right here, tab, called Standby, and you can see all of the standby settings. So standby will need to be turned on. This arrow right here, you'll have to swipe that over to the right in order for it to work. And now you've got settings for always on display and then night mode. So night mode is a really cool inter interface. It dims the, um, the interface, it creates it with a low ambient lighting fill. It's red. So instead of seeing color, you just, you just see a red interface and it makes it really neat to see at night. You can allow your notifications to be shown. Right now that's on by default. So if you get a notification, it'll slide up and pop up in standby mode. So you've got all the settings right here inside of iOS 17. And this is definitely one of the features you should first check out when you check out iOS 17. It's really cool. And I think you'll love it as much as I do. The next feature you absolutely have to try first is called the contact poster. And it's a new way to express yourself in iOS 17 when you call other people that have iPhones. You can open up the phone app and head over to contacts in the middle and at the top tap on your card. And here you'll be able to customize your very own contact poster by pressing the edit button in the top right. And then you can press it one more time in the middle here and you can modify your contact posters. So you can swipe around and customize them. You can have various different contact posters and change them at any time for when you message people or call them, the contact poster will immediately pop up and they'll be able to see who you are. So we can come over here and hit the customize button and see what it looks like to customize this contact poster. We can add an emoji, we can come over here, we can add a little robot and then tap away there and you can select a different face here for the robot and then we can hit next. So now we have a robot on the contact poster. So anytime we use this contact poster and call someone, this robot will appear. We can change the color we can tap on the color options here. We can change the background color. Um, we can come over here and see depth effect, whether that's on or off. That's perfect for if you add a live photo or a different photo, that a portrait photo, and um, you can have the depth effect turned on. So you can come over here, you can adjust the font um, based off your, your name that will pop up there. And then you can come over and hit done at the top right and preview this contact poster. So here we have this contact poster, it has the robot, and this is what it will look like when we call people. So we hit continue and it adds it to our contact poster. It allows us to se select a contact photo. If we wanna choose a different photo, we can press that at the very bottom, or we can hit continue just like that. But now we have a brand new contact poster that expresses ourselves. I can come over here and type in a name um, such as AppFind. And then I'll hit done and save that. And now we've got the app find contact poster. And anytime you want, you can come right back to your phone app. We can swipe up to exit and tap it and then go back to contacts, go, da go back to the app find contact poster card. We can hit edit and hit edit um, and scroll back over to whichever um, one we have. So right now, this is the primary one at the front. We can hit customize or we can swap to a different one or we can, um, you know, add a new one with the blue button at the very bottom. So this is a new way to express yourself in iOS 17 that you absolutely have to check out. You can create your very own contact poster with your personalized emoji, your own photo, your own options here. And then, of course, we tapped on the text earlier, but since we didn't have a name, you couldn't see what that looked like. But this is what it looks like when we change the text or we increase the size of that text. We can also change the color of it just like this. So you can make it super personalized to how you want it. And you can come over here and have the coolest contact poster. So when you message people or call them, this contact poster is the default screen that shows up in iOS 17 when you give people a call and it just downloads it to their phone immediately and they can see exactly who you are and it makes it really neat. So definitely one of the first things you have to do when you get iOS 17 to head over to your phone app and head over to the contacts section tap on your card at the very top and then modify and press the edit button and make your very own unique contact poster. Next up, I'm gonna show you the brand new iMessage app interface. So you can open up messages. This is definitely something you should check out when you first get iOS 17. You can head over to a message and now instead of a drawer at the very bottom here where you swipe around in iOS 16 to get apps, you can hit this plus button at the very bottom right here. You can tap it once and a brand new interface pops open to get access to all of your iMessage apps. So this is a really neat way to interact. You can see the default ones right here, camera, photo, stickers, Apple Cache, audio, location. And then there's this more option. 
you can tap it or you can just scroll down and you can see all the various different apps, iMessage apps that are um, you know, third party that you installed. You can see some default ones too, but we can see things like TikTok and YouTube that we installed on our phone. And then the default ones like App Store, Images, Check-In, Digital Touch, and Emoji and Apple Music. So really cool way for us to come in here and interact with iMessage apps on our brand new iOS 17 device. It's a new way to you know, access them. You'll just hit the plus button at the very bottom now, which is you know very different from iOS 16, where you had a drawer where they were all out here at the top of the message bar. Now you just hit the plus button and all of them pop up. You can swipe around, you can select which app you want. We can come over here, we can do digital touch, and then we can start drawing and then we can send that off. One of my favorite things to do with the digital touch is to hold down two fingers and to create a heart effect. We're gonna exit that and hold down two fingers and it creates a heart effect. And you can see that once it sends it off when I lift the two fingers up. So I absolutely love these iMessage apps. You can check it out on the um, you know new iOS 17 device. You just swipe over to a contact thread that you're messaging. You press the plus button and you have access to all of these various different apps and this brand new interface in order to access all the iMessage apps on iOS 17. Another really neat feature that you have to try when you install iOS 17 is swipe to reply. So now when you are messaging someone, if you want to reply to them, you're already in the message thread here and you can just swipe to reply. I just swipe to the right and I can say, this looks neat. And then we'll retype that, this looks neat my typing there there we go we got it this looks neat and we'll send that off so all i had to do to reply to that thread was to swipe and you can see it group this up together and it's only in that thread um, so i can reply instantly just like that and now i can swipe over to go back in order to uh, exit that thread so you'll see here that this has been replied to in a thread because I swiped to the right of that. You'll see the, the arrow message when I swipe to respond and it opens up that unique thread and it makes it really easy for us to come in here and talk uniquely in this thread. So you can swipe to get rid of that and you can see it created a thread at the very bottom when I said this looks neat and you can see what I responded to. So one of my favorite features right here in iOS 17, definitely ones that you should try out first. When you're swiping, you just swipe to the right to respond and it creates a new thread and you can interact. And you know, normally in iOS 17, or normally in iOS 16, if you wanted to get that feature, you would have to hold down and then hit reply. And it, you know, you have to do two taps there just to get the, the reply. But now you no longer have to do two taps because in iOS 17, you can just swipe over to the right and it instantly pulls up um, a new reply thread. So really cool feature that you should definitely try out first when you get iOS 17. The next feature that you should absolutely try out when you get iOS 17 is still here in Messages when we hit this plus button and check out the Stickers app. The Stickers app is all new and it's been redesigned for us to interact with various different you know, apps. So I'm gonna swipe this up to the top to get the full preview here. You can create stickers, you can animate them with live photos, and it makes it really fun to come in here and uh, play with all the various different stickers. So you can see I created this live photo sticker of this dessert where it moves around a little bit, and I can go ahead and send this off into the, the chat thread. I can also drag these stickers onto the chat thread any way I want. I can drag this photo of me, I can move it over here onto this uh, you know, chat base thread there, and it pops open at the very top right there. I can also drag this corner over here, and then I can use my fingers to pinch and zoom. I can make it even bigger, I can make it small, I can make it as big as I want and drag it and put it right next to my other image here, and it pops it right over there. This is a live sticker because it's a live photo that I converted to a sticker. And you can see it's right here in the chat thread of the iMessage chat that I'm in right now. And you can see it moving. You can see it, you can drag stickers anywhere here in this um, you know, app and it makes it really fun to interact with. You also have this new way of interacting with emojis. You can tap the emoji section. You can see all your favorite emojis. You can drag them. We can um, hit the, the plus one here. We can drag that onto the thing right there. 
So you can see you can have all sorts of fun here in iOS 17 with the brand new stickers app where I've dragged you know three or four stickers here into the message thread. I can come over here, I can hit this plus button to make a brand new sticker. And you can come over here and we'll, we'll select people and then we can select one of my photos here. And now I've got this brand new sticker that I can add into the iMessage stickers app. And just like that, I've got a brand new photo of myself. I can hold down and add an effect, or I can just drag it onto the thread just like this and put it anywhere that I like. So a really fun way to interact with stickers right here in iOS 17. And let's see if I can drag that on successfully. We'll tap on the stickers and we'll tap it once and then we'll hit send. Um, so there we go, we've got that sticker in the thread and a very fun way to interact with the new stickers app here in iOS 17. I think this is by far one of the coolest features to express yourself. And of course you have all of your other favorite apps that have stickers that you can play with. You can drag their stickers right onto the thread too. Um, and you can message them just like that by tapping on them and hitting send. So we've got various different stickers there and a very fun way to come play with all of the different stickers here in the iMessage app. So that's an overview of the stickers in the iOS 17 iMessage app. Really cool thing. I hope you enjoyed this video of the first things to do with iOS 17. We reviewed things like, you know, checking out live interactive widgets on the home screen, contact posters, and more. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let us know what your favorite iOS 17 feature is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love creating this content for you and we can't wait until we make the next one for you to watch. So thanks Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.